So many times I thought you'd leave me Broken inside, I feel I've lost my sanity I don't believe in happy endings Bottom of heart and hope you'd still love me in the end for the very first time to the Tita Potter. Um, she's seen it because she did live in the round pen for I think the first couple weeks, if I remember the first month. So she has seen it on a daily basis, but seeing it and being asked to interact with it is a little bit different. I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I get her fly mask off. Uh, I started yesterday putting it on during the day, taking it off at night. This is also going to help with me bridling her because she hates when both hands kind of come over her ears from the top or from the ground up. And yesterday when I went to take off her fly mask, she reared up. So when I finally got caught her again because I didn't have a halter on her when I was trying to do it, I put it back on and left it on until that night and then just did it very, very slowly. Um, you know, it's day two. She might react. She might not. So I'm going to also show you how I do that. First I had to go catch her because she was coming in until she seen me grab the halter and then she took off because she's getting a little harder to catch. She's also getting to where she knows she gets a treat as soon as I'm going to catch her. So from now on she won't get a treat until after I have caught her because as soon as I give her that treat, as soon as I go to throw that rope over, she's now taking off. So we're going to be fixing that issue too. Uh, that one will be off camera though because it's just catching her and then she gets a treat. So I'm going to bring her in here, take off her fly mask, show you guys and talk you guys through that, and then we'll go into the teeter-totter. I may do a voiceover, I may not, I don't know yet. So I'll go see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to ask her to back up here. And I know her fly mask is old, it's Frazier's old fly mask. So, I don't really care that it's old. It works. So she doesn't really like the Velcro. So I just play with the Velcro for a second. Until she kind of stops giving me some reactions. And then I do the cheek piece of Velcro, which she does not like. Because it's underneath of her chin. You see her backing away there. I just keep playing with it. And then I slowly take out the pieces out of the halter. So I like to take my time with these things. Go over here and ask her for her head to go down. And then I take it over both ears. But see, she's starting, starting here to take her head away and up for me. So I bring her head back, ask her head down. And then she lifts it again, so I ask it down again. She lifts it a little bit here, but not much. I put it back on, ask her for her head down, and take it off. So that she doesn't learn that... It's okay to lift her head and take it away. So here I'm just flexing her. And I will fix her halter here in a minute. Sorry guys. Uh, yield her hindquarters until one front leg pivot, pivots. Right there she kind of stepped back. So I just asked her to come forward and stand. Yield her butt a little bit more to get her to stand. She has a slight step but not too much. Then same thing on this side. We're going to flex. getting softer we're doing about 12 times on each side one today yield her butt here you can see she's not pivoting she's moving around quite a bit there she pivots just a little bit so i release the pressure so here we're going to be working on yielding her four quarters this is about her third day doing it she actually did really really good today stepped over there stepped over there stepped over there stepped over Stepped over, stepped over halfway, so I just ended it there. She did a full circle. That's the first time she's done a full circle. Yield her butt out. 
and do the same thing on this side. So I think all these things are important to be able to do before you try this because you have to have body control as I will talk about through the video. So here I like to get my string exactly the same length as my stick and hold them tight together otherwise I feel like I don't have control of her if she goes to take her head away. So there she didn't step over at the end but that's okay. Here we're working on some soft packing. I'm just shaking the stick. Now there she's kind of bracing when I'm asking her to stop so I add more pressure until she comes forward and then I rub on her. She is very bracy. We're working on it. So here I always like to send them up to it on their own. Some horses will go straight over, some horses will see that and rear up and run away, some horses will play with it. All horses are different. She's just kind of standing there looking at me, not really paying attention to it. So I ask her to try some more. You can see she's kind of like, I don't really want to look at this. So I'll come over here and show her that it moves so it doesn't frighten her when she does step on it. There she backed up, so I just pulled her forward a little bit. Eleven on her. I'm going to bounce it, make it rock, let her hear all the noise that it makes. And just show her that it moves. So bring her forward again. She's stepping back again. Bring her over there. So I just want to rock it and make the noise now. So when she gets on it for the first time, it's not, oh my god, this thing makes noise. It's going to kill me. <laughs> I'm going to live on her some. Now here I'm asking her to try either her to lift a leg and attempt to put it up. To put a leg on there. To step forward on her hind. Or to smell it. Or play with it. I'm asking for any try or interest in it. And I keep up pressure until I get that. So there, she took a couple little baby steps forward. I release for a second, and then I ask again. And you'll see here she goes to put a foot on it, and then she wants to show interest in it. That's fine. She's showing interest, and that's what matters. So some time went by, and I asked her again. She put a hip on there for the first time, and she's smelling it. She's making it move, she's hearing the noise, all great things. So here, I'm showing her body control kind of. I'm asking her to yoga that shoulder over, and she did a little bit. There she went to step up, but she didn't. That's okay, she tried. So there, I just asked her a little bit more, and she put her hip on there, and she's not too sure about it. There she's going around. See, I'm just able to kind of walk at her, and she moves right back over. I guarantee you, if I hadn't taught her to yield her, her forequarters, I probably would not be able to get this result. She's stepping over. I ask her to go back. She's doing really good trying. But I'm going to ask for just a little bit more. So there she crossed over and went off the other side. So I just sent her back in front of it. Keep up some pressure. There she tried and put a foot on it. And now she's smelling it and licking it again. So I leave her alone. Again, ask. She lifted so I loosen the rope. Now here she's pawing on it because horses have really bad death perception. Um, so she's digging on it to see does it go down? Is it steep? How deep is it? That kind of thing. So I let them do that. That helps build their confidence that they can play on it too. If you don't let them play on it, well maybe why would they want to? Why would they want to try and get up there? So now she's got both front on it. Little time goes by, I just left her alone for a little bit. And I ask for a couple more steps for Applying some pressure to get her to try more. Now she's using her bed away and kind of dragging back. So I just back her up and send her back in front of it. She does get very bracy a few times. And um, there's one point I actually clipped out five minutes of her bracing because it was just me and her bracing against each other. Because I'll keep up the pressure. She's going to keep up the pressure. And then I lunge her and I left that part in. So I'll explain that then. So I'm going to ask her to go back. Now I do have the stick in my hands because some horses can come straight off the other side and run you over because they're scared. So I do have that stick if I need to get her off of me. There she showed more interest. 
This took her about mm, maybe 30 minutes to fully understand, as you guys will see at the end of the video, the end result. Now, depending on the horse, I would end on a different note. If the horse is extremely spooky, I might end right here. Um, but Kamani is kind of the horse that if you try for a little bit longer, she gets it faster. There, she's just spooking a little bit because she's not used to it moving out from underneath her. Although she's seen it and heard it move, she's never felt it herself. So you'll see her rock it and kind of jump a little bit and drag back. And I just kind of apply more pressure and bring her forward to teach her that you can be scared, but you don't need to brace. You don't need to drag. So right there, you can see her body tense and tight and her tail go up. Now, if you watch through this whole video, she is looking and chewing a ton. So all good things. So I'm just going to keep applying some pressure and keep asking. There she took a step. But she's bracing again. So when she braces, I'm going to apply more pressure. One thing you'll see me do quite a bit of um, is walking sideways, back and forth. And that's just to pull her off balance to get her to come forward. So see there she was at, um, bracing quite a bit. So I popped a little bit. Because she does like to take her lip or her cheek and kind of push against that rope where she's able to brace more and not able to feel it under her chin, pulling forward, if that makes sense. So I've been working on keeping the rope directly under her chin, and every time she kind of, like right there, she's mouthing it and kind of bracing, I'll pop that lead rope to get her mouth off of it. She's not biting it, but she's just taking the side of her face and kind of pushing against it so she doesn't feel as much pressure. So here I'm going to keep asking. Keep asking. There she kind of just stopped paying attention to me totally and looked at a turkey. <laughs> she's kind of that horse that you'll be in the middle of something and she's like, I don't care. I see something else. Bye. <laughs> so I just kind of add more pressure until she tries. So here's about where I believe this is it. There, I pulled her up balance. So I pulled her up balance and she took a step. So I'm perfectly fine with you doing this. To me, that is fine. Riley, don't. So there, I'm rocking her off her balance again. She's stepping. That's good. Nice loose line for trying. Ask for a little bit more. And the video it looks like I'm asking really quickly. It actually feels like it's longer in time, so I'm sorry for that. So there is where I'm lunging her because she was just bracing for a good five, five and a half minutes. So I'm just lunging her and telling her, look, you want to be completely bracy and locked up? You need to move and you need to work. And if I do this every time, try keeping pressure and she doesn't and just getting after her, hopefully it'll eventually get it out of her. She is still two, though, and she's two and three months on the 16th. So, she's still a baby. And you gotta have, you guys gotta remember, she's only had three months of training. There she decided to step over. I asked her, nope, go back straight. And she kind of just wouldn't do it, so I just popped on her and asked her to back up. So, that's what that was about. So, right there, she's stepping around it. Moving that shoulder over from a distance. So I don't want her learning from the beginning that she can just go around it because I feel like that's how you get more and more issues. This is also going to help her when we trailer load for the first time because I'm teaching her the word step up every time that she steps up on it. Look at her holding her foot up like I don't want to touch this. <laughs> so that'll kind of go into the trailer loading and I'll be able to say step up and she'll have some recognition of what I'm asking. She's kind of standing on her tippy toe right there. Kind of funny. She does this a few times if you watch closely with her back legs, too. So I just keep asking her forward. She wants to smell it. Look and chew. That's great. Right here, in, she's kind of leaning against with her cheek again, with her lips. So you'll see me get after her quite a bit here in a minute for that. Um, right there, she's just taking the side of her face and leaning it. If you see, her head goes sideways, so that's why you see me bumping. So she's doing pretty good. <laughs> Wiley, no. 
So there she's racing, so I just apply more pressure. She came off of it, so I loosened it. There she's coming forward quite a bit. Left her alone. I want her butt to stay straight though, so her butt doesn't come sideways and then she comes straight off of it. But as you can see, I don't need my stick really anymore because she's not coming off on top of me. She's coming off really quietly and coming beside me. So that's why you'll see me drop my stick, if I haven't already. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep asking. She's bracing. So I'm going to pull her off balance here. Yield her butt and kind of pull her head. There. Now I don't care that she had to step back because I'm the one that pulled her off balance. So I just ask her to come back up on. She's unsure. That's fine. She's not rearing up. She's not freaking out. She's not really dragging back too much. She is dragging back some and bracing some, but, you know, knowing this mirror, I kind of expected a little bit worse behavior, so I'm not too mad at this. Ask her forward. She's kind of getting bracy here again, so I'm going to bump and pull. Bump. And pull. There she came forward, so I release. She came forward there. She's leaning against the halter there with the side of her face. See how her head kind of goes up and sideways like that? That's her taking that mouth and pushing on kind of against that lead line. She's just trying to figure out a way to get out of this. The only way to get out of it is to come forward. So there she's bracing a little bit, so I just pop. There she's trying, so I release. Asking for a little bit more. She puts her back leg on there. She actually holds the stance for a little bit. Kind of funny. She stops in like the weirdest positions. This is not freeze framed at all. This is real time. Whew, excuse me. It's actually kind of cold out there. I don't know why I didn't put a jacket on. It's about 60, 55. So there she didn't touch with her back leg, but that's fine. She only touched with one, so I just love her. Tell her good girl. And that's her reward. And then I like to kind of walk them away and not go... There's sometimes I will go directly back to it. And there's other times like here where she still sucks at leading. So we're still working on that. She doesn't like to be up beside me, so I'll just kind of lead her around in a circle and take her right back to it so she does get a break from it for a little bit. So it's not just like constantly drilling her. With this one thing. She's holding up that outside front. So I just love on her. Oh, it's okay. <sighs> Ask her to come forward. You can see she's much more willing this time. She's trying a lot harder now. She's still bracing some. But you can see her starting to give in a little bit more. Until here, it's just getting those back legs on there. She's bracing, she's bracing, just keep pulling. There, she can board for release. There. Pull her up balance here. She kind of stepped on her own hook there. That's fine. That's why she's pulling back here. So I just keep applying pressure. You can see she's really bracing here. So I just lean and kind of keep up that pressure. And you'll see here in a second she gives. There. So she's starting to figure out, man, bracing isn't getting me anywhere. So she's starting to do it less and less. It's going to take her a while, but she'll get it. Because eventually I want to do the tire. Do you guys want me to film the tire? You guys have gotten this far in the video. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to film her first time in a tire. <sighs> it's 
Excuse me. So there she got her leg on. Now right there, I just kind of wiggled the rope. I wanted her to stay on. She didn't. She didn't really feel comfortable. That's fine. I don't get after her too much. I just back her up. And instead of going right back to it, I just kind of let her jog a little bit. Do something else for a minute. Kind of thing. And just let her think about something else. So I did about two laps each way. And then we go back to it. See, there she's kind of going around it, so I just wiggled that rope right in front of her, and she did pretty good of, of obeying it and not going around it. So there she's like, hmm, can I try it on this side? And I'm like, nope, get over there. So there she's stepping on the very, very edge of the wood, so that's why you see me stand there and correct it for a second. So here I was actually trying to yield her butt. And I didn't want her to go completely off, and she kind of hopscotched right there, but she did go all over after being sent. I wasn't sending her, I was yielding her butt. But if you guys go back and watch that real quick, she hopscotched that back leg. But you know what? I don't care if she went over being sent, that's pretty good. So there she kind of avoided it, so I'm just asking her to yield her butt, and she kind of did that little rare there. So I make her work a little bit, back her up, just tell her, look, not acceptable. I was just asking you to move your butt and you overreacted. Just give her some correction and get back into work. So this whole video is pretty much pressure and release. Sorry it was so long, but I felt like all of this needed to be wrapped in. I did cut out some stuff that was just pretty much the same thing. Um... But I wanted to leave the majority of it in. So look at her holding her foot up. <laughs> she's posing. Oh my goodness. So that one day I can look back and see how far she's come. And I can do like a comparison video. Maybe the first day on the seat of Totter to 100th or 10th or whatever, you know. So there I tried to get her excuse me, to send. And she wasn't really going to go for it. That's fine. So I just come over here and ask. You can see she's taking steps much faster now. She's starting to really understand it. Really proud of it. Now one thing I love right there is she turns and goes beside me. She doesn't come at me. She doesn't go in front of me and push me over. She's really pushy, so I'm actually pretty happy with her going beside me. Most horses, I would want them to come off straight. And here I'm just leading her around doing something else for a second. Most horses would want them to come off straight and stand straight in front of me, but since she is so pushy, um, I'm actually really, really happy with the fact that she wants to come beside me. Now here I wanted to see if she would lead, and she kind of like halfway goes on it and halfway doesn't. That's fine, she at least tried. So pretty. So shiny. She got a bath the other day with dog shampoo. I called my vet and they said, yeah, as long as it doesn't say don't use on horses or as long as it's not medicated, you can um, bathe your horse and dog and cat shampoo. Unless it says don't use on horses or unless it's medicated. There, I asked her to stop and stand. She didn't really understand. She's not really confident. That's fine. I just turn her around, bring her back over. And right here, all right. There, she gets all the way on, and I didn't expect to be able to do this, but I'm able to just love on her and drop the rope and pet her all over while she's standing there. That time she actually stood there, so I left her there. I'm rubbing her all over, rubbing her butt, rubbing her flank, rubbing her legs, her body, and here I'm going to take off the halter. So I take off the halter and put her head down and walk away. And she stays up there on her own for, I think she stayed up there for a good three minutes. Um, but I didn't want to leave that for three minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know if you want to see the tire video. Bye guys.